Hi everyone, my name is Cheryl, the Healing Dancer. I am an energy healer, an angel intuitive or angel guide, and I also am the creator and facilitator of Divinity Emotion classes, workshops, and events. In this video, I am going to do a short angelic Reiki and readings for you. I do offer angelic Reiki and readings monthly over Zoom, and you can find more information on that and when I actually offer those through my social media pages, which are listed in the description of this video. But for this video, I wanted to do a short angelic Reiki session and then include a reading at the end. So this is for the collective. This is for whoever's watching it. So basically, all I need you to do is get comfortable and relax. You can lay down, you can sit down, you can stand, whatever is comfortable for you. So find a comfortable space right now and what I want you to do is now set an intention for whatever it is that you would like healing for. So when we set an intention with Reiki or with any kind of energy healing modality, it's all about intention. The healing is all about intention. So if there is a situation you would like healing for, you can ask for healing for that. Set the intention, I would like to receive healing for this situation. Um, or, it can be for if you're having a physical pain in your body, like your knee hurts or your leg hurts, your arm, anything, um, any kind of medical condition. And just to preface this, Reiki or any kind of energy healing does not cure any medical conditions. It only aids in any kind of discomfort or in helping your own body to start the healing process. So set your intention for whatever it is that you would like healing for, and you can pause this video if you would like right now to set that intention. And if you can't think of anything, but you feel like you need some kind of healing, all you need to say is, I'd like to ask for whatever healing I need right now for my highest and greatest good. That's all you need to say. Just set that intention. You don't need to say it out loud. You can say it in your mind if you'd like. So take a little bit of time to just get relaxed just start breathing. I'm going to put on some music and I'm going to do a quick energy healing session for you. So just relax, open your mind to receiving. I'm just gonna play some music. And I want you to take in a deep breath with me. So breathe in through your nose. and out through your mouth. And you can close your eyes like I am if that feels comfortable to you. If not, you can keep them open and watch or find something to gaze at softly. So let's take another deep breath in. And let it out. One more deep breath in and let it out. Now I want you to just breathe normally and what feels comfortable. And I'm going to call in all of our angels, Archangel Michael to help protect us from anything that needs protecting from any negative energy. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for being here. I'd like to also call in Archangel Raphael, who is the ultimate healer, the ultimate healing angel. I ask you, Archangel Raphael, to help assist in any healing that is needed today for anyone watching this video at any time. Thank you, Archangel Raphael, for being here. And I'd like to call in all of our guardian angels, angelic teams, healing angels, and anyone else on our spirit team that would like to join us at this time to help assist with this healing. And I thank you all for being here. We are grounded. We are connected. We are ready to receive. So just breathe and open your heart to receive.
And I want you to start wiggling your toes, wiggling your fingers. Maybe taking in another deep breath in. And out. When you're ready, open your eyes. Please feel free to let me know in the comments of the video how you're feeling. I would love to hear your feedback. But before I go, I am going to pull a card, like I said, for the collective. So the Oracle cards that I'm using today are Oracle of the Seven Energies by Colette Baron reed So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask our angelic team, our spiritual team, what message it is that they want us to know right now. So know that whenever you're seeing this message, this is exactly what you need right now. And along with the energy healing that you just received, you can always come back to that, set a different intention, and do that over as well. Okay, so our message. Great and full. Great and full. It sounds like grateful, right? Great and full. Your cup is half full. It's not half, half empty, it's half full. Also, practice gratitude, practice gratefulness, practice this daily. Maybe start a gratitude practice where you write down maybe three to five things a day of what you're grateful for. Now I wanna read what's in the book because I absolutely love these cards and the messages that are in here as well. So the key, key concepts, the mindfulness practice of gratitude, knowing that you are enough, committing to your intentions, a sense of sufficiency, letting go of attachments to form. Before you can begin to understand the process of manifesting your desires, you need to practice deep gratitude and the willingness to share that with others. This is the true nature of prosperity. It's not about the things you accumulate at all. It's about how you feel. You're invited to surrender to an important truth. There is always enough for you. There is enough time to do the things you need and desire to do, enough opportunities to express your talents and connect to the purpose and enough magic circulating through the invisible world into the visible. Begin your day immersed in gratitude for everything you have and everything you can't yet see. The unmanifest, which begins with every breath you take, know that you are enough and all your needs are being fulfilled, even if you doubt this in some moments. No one's success can make you feel small, and comparing yourself to others never works. Your life is brimming with unique potential. Focus on that. When you hold this feeling of gratitude, it acts as a magical open sesame to the floodgates of abundance. Complete that with a playful sense of detachment and you'll find that miracles have an uncanny way of showing up in your life. Your intentions burst forth into reality with little effort on your part. There is hope brimming with potentiality. It's okay that you don't always trust this. You are not alone in holding the candle high for transformation. Right now, contemplate how being in the energy of enough makes you feel. Eventually, you will have no attachment to what you do or do not manifest in the material world, what you do or do not have. Then, like magic, you have more than enough. What a fantastic universe we live in. So, great and full, you are enough. You are enough. You are enough. You have everything you need. It's time to start creating your life. And if you've already started that, keep doing it. So like I always say, my catchphrase is keep dancing your dance. 
because only you have that unique dance. So keep dancing it. Let your light shine. And again, I would love for you to follow me. You can watch this video over and over again. Make sure you drink some water after you're done. So this way you can help your body to replenish. I hope that you enjoyed that. Please like, share, and comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have a beautiful, amazing day. See you next time.